The pine beetle, the tiny insect single-handedly destroying the pine trees in the Black Hills National Forest, is finally starting to decline in some areas. This is a problem that has been on the incline for the past 10 years. State crews have identified and marked over 10,000 infested trees on 42,000 acres of state and private forest lands. We're seeing a drop in, in pine beetle numbers. Some areas it's just, they're so, so many beetles even on the outside edge that they keep kind of infilt infiltrating in, but uh, hopefully what we're doing here will mitigate the spread onto the private lands. $2 million was allocated by the governor to the Mount Pine Beetle Programs, solving the problem and helping private landowners with the funding for tree removal. We've established some priority areas uh, in the Black Hills and people within those areas and actually anyone can sign up and then uh, we'll pay up to 75% of the cost of having those trees uh, removed or treated. The program creates a 300-foot buffer on forest land adjacent to private land, the goal being to keep the beetles from spreading. The best treatment is having trees cut down and hauled off to sawmills, but cutting and chunking is another solution. Primarily works by cutting these trees down and they cut them into two-foot sections, no longer than two-foot sections, and basically the, um, the logs lay on the ground and over the course of about a year's time with the sun, um, affecting and heating the logs. It actually kills the larvae inside um, the bark. This process is 80% effective, suppressing the beetles enough to sell the rest of the timber, but can also be a double-edged sword. I mean, if we're getting that kind of a kill, it actually is making a, a good impact. Again, the negative part of it is putting the fuel on the ground. Tim Troxell has been cutting down the trees here for the past three seasons since the initiative started. He has noticed the devastation. We hike a hill down there and that hill's pretty much gone. Yeah. Um, we've seen it change over the last five years so much and it's just, yeah. it's really watching our forest start over. But so far, the techniques used have been making an impact. Stephanie Kayser, News Center One.